League. What's going on, boys? How's it going? It's your boy C G O D, aka Camera God. We're back once again. Got this 85 cut dog here in front of me, boys. And uh, as you've seen in the previous video, which hopefully you might have just watched, uh, trying to pump out some more content, you know, just doing what I do or whatever. So, like I said, first things first, we out here, we still got these three chargers. Uh, but we are currently on the last three batteries. So, I mean, as you can see, we got the, the final fifth one of each one and then the fourth over here. So, it was kind of weird how I did it, but essentially, I think I'd be able to do it with three. Because I'll do three at a time, you know, three, three, and three. And then I'll have like one odd man out, I guess, or something, I don't know. I gotta charge the actual car battery, so we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, that'll work perfect, I guess. But either way, so whenever I first got it, and I had, or started having issues or whatever, I decided to check the voltage on the batteries, and they were like between, you know, like 12.6, 12.7, 12.8, you know? Which, I mean, I guess ain't terrible. But as you can see, they're being charged, like this one here is being charged up to 14.4. So, yeah they're getting a little bit more of a charge they're like getting charged up to like 14 point something but the actual resting voltage like if we go back to these is like 13.6 or 7 or 8 or something like that so we're gonna go ahead and just let all those charge up boys um one of the main things that i really want to do so as you can see our front switch here this is what powers both our fronts like you see how ghetto that is like how loose that is like this is how my shit is running yo so this switch right here i don't really like it um these two are my rears here so these are the ones that essentially go to each rear pump so it's just a single power and a dump but this one for some reason they put a dual i don't know why they set it up all weird like that so i'm gonna go ahead and rob this switch and use it as my front one because it looks to be in better condition or at least a little newer if it's the same as this one this one at least works so i mean you know we should be gas there i don't know if i'd be able to just combine those two wires that we have there for the front but i don't want to try it you know so i'm just going to stay on the six prong switches and i'm going to use probably this one for the rear here to take its place and it'll be a similar setup like as this one is so i'm gonna go ahead and do that boys but first i gotta hook up the pumps again so let's see if i can find one where you can see it so as you could see we have a power cable that runs back after it goes through the solenoids it feeds here so this is all that goes to the motor i need to swap that you know, like I said, these two here, those two there, because I had, you know, I, I flipped them around to see if it would help because I was still able to hop the front or to get it to go up and down, but the rear would only go up like halfway. And then after I swapped it, I mean, obviously the rear is only 24 volts and the front is 60. So whenever I swapped it, I tried the back and the back, I actually was able to get it up to lock, you know, on 60 volts to my rear pumps. And then the front, I could not. Like it was, it was not enough voltage and the batteries were too dead. I'm hoping anyways. So by the end of this video, we'll know if it was just the batteries. So hopefully they were just low. Like I said, they were all reading like 12.6 to 12.8. And now they're reading like 13.6 to 13.8. So yeah, hopefully we'll get her juking and everything works, boys. That's the goal for today. So let me get on it all right boys so like i told y'all we got the batteries juiced up got the switches all fixed now old girls hitting boys let me show y'all what i mean oh let's see if i can get a decent view for you boys because i know y'all like them decent views you know
All right, boys. Hopefully that was a good view for y'all. But let me just tell you, she is definitely hitting now, brothers. Look at that, yo. Damn, she about to sit like that in my driveway tonight, baby. Because, man, that's fucking gangster. But, yeah. So, yeah, she's hitting. Um, we are full-blown certified getting it. Let me, uh, I got a flashlight right here. Well, I had one. Okay. But yeah, brother, so there you have it. You can see here, we got a little bit of like uh, road rash from the tire or something. We got our power balls. Hey, now that I'm actually down here looking at the work, it actually looks pretty decent. Might grease those bad puppies up a little bit. As you can see, we've got our adjustable trailing arms, frame reinforced. The adjustable trailings continue. And as you can see, we're fully laid on that other side. So this is like maximum three wheel brothers. You can see right there too, where we've been kind of rubbing the shaft. Hopefully you can see that, but damn, this thing is gangster. I love it so much more with the, with the batteries juiced up brothers. But yeah, see, you can see here, our front has that brace down there, boys. So, I mean, our upper control arms are indeed reinforced. And uh, I don't know exactly how much they're extended. I want to say maybe like one inch. But man, that's so cool, boys. Pay no attention to all the oil leakage underneath of it. But man, do y'all see it go up? Nasty, huh? If you are like not careful on that front switch, it'll definitely do yes. You know, it'll put you up there. Like, look at that, boys. And it looks like we got a good amount of clearance too, like, because this is fully up on three. You know what I mean? It ain't no game. But, uh, oh yeah, see, you can see my whole setup here now too. It looks like our cylinders actually like sucked down a little bit on there. So this other one must be like through the roof. Yeah. Cool beans, dudes. I like it. Uh, I would try to show you the bridge, but... Man, she's all juiced up, boys. I thought something was wrong. I thought I had broke it already. But, nah, she's just juiced up. Oh, see, look, here you can get a view at the bridge. As you could see here, it's got like a donut welded up top. And then it's like stiffened on both sides. It's pretty well reinforced, actually, brothers. This is pretty legit. Honestly, I think it tilt even more. Because I don't think it's all the way down, but this is probably all she's going to give. Oh my god. You can hear all the batteries sloshing. <laughs> I think I got it to go down a little bit more. But yeah, look, like we're literally just be putting the 13s to the concrete, dudes. Man, this is wicked. This is supposed to be just a quick video, but I got her working. She be working now. I think we even got chrome cylinders up front or they're just dirty. But I mean, it is what it is, boys. I ain't complaining at all today. We're juiced up. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, and the front switch, I don't know if you've seen, but it works a lot better now. Being that it uh, is pretty proper and stuff. I don't think the batteries will necessarily leak if I just leave it up on three like this, but I might set the car back down. I don't know yet, but this is just going to be a quick little update for y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was just uh, my activities throughout the day. I thought, you know, maybe I had broke the car, you know, bad gear, bad motor bent cylinder you know like nobody i don't know i just didn't know but now i'm for sure boys that is just those batteries were lo low on the juice the front is super snappy now like oh my god it's crazy in the back before whenever i would try to do what i just showed you guys it would only raise up about halfway and then run out of steam you know it'd run out of power so it wasn't enough to just boom just really lock her over like that you know but man, that's badass, boys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I got more coming. This is just, you know, like regular, 
regular day off content. But we got some hardcore stuff coming, boys. So make sure to stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuce.